Hello, everyone. I'd like to start by thanking Prime Minister Kuczynskis for welcoming me to Latvia. It's a pleasure to be here, and I'm looking forward to meeting with President Vyunas later today. Thank you also for welcoming my team, Minister Freeland, Minister Sajjan, and General Jonathan Vance, Chief of Defense Staff. Cette journée représente un moment important, soit la première visite bilatérale d'un premier ministre canadien en Lettonie. Nous profitons de cette occasion pour accroître encore davantage notre collaboration alors que les Lettons célèbrent cette année le centenaire de leur pays. Depuis toujours, nos deux pays sont unis par un lien spécial. Le Canada a été le premier pays du G7 à reconnaître le rétablissement de l'indépendance de la Lettonie en 1991 et l'un des premiers à ratifier l'accession de la Lettonie à l'OTAN. Today, Prime Minister Kuczynskis and I spoke about our cooperation on joint priorities, in particular, our shared commitment to creating a more peaceful and more stable world. These are uncertain times, and I assured the Prime Minister that Canada will continue to step up, just as we always have. We remain unwavering in our support for security in the Baltic region. That's why Canada is leading the NATO Enhanced Forward Presence Battle Group in Latvia. We've contributed 450 Canada Canadian Armed Forces troops. I'm especially looking forward to spending time with them later today and seeing firsthand the important work that they are doing. I know all of our Canadians in uniform are proud to be serving in Latvia alongside our NATO allies. The Prime Minister and I discussed Canada's continued support for this mission, and I'm happy to announce today that Canada is extending our contribution as NATO's Enhanced Forward Presence Framework Nation here in Latvia. I want to be clear. We are absolutely committed to the protection of our allies and to global peace and security. Canadians always have and always will stand up for a better and more just world. That's why Canada will continue to be a late leader within NATO. Our mission's current mandate ends in 2019, and this announcement today extends our commitment for four more years on top of that. We're increasing the land task force and adding greater flexibility for Canada's contribution to NATO maritime forces. The mission will also have a CF-18 fighter presence, including bilateral training and air policing. As NATO members, we must stay responsive to changing threats around the world. This mission renewal will look at how to employ cyber capabilities in line with the new defense policy that Minister Sajjan released last year. Canada's new defense policy, created through the most open and comprehensive defense policy review ever, ensures that we will remain a dependable NATO ally. This policy will see annual funding for defense increase by more than 70% in 10 years. Most importantly, the investments we're making in our military are highly strategic and focused on equipping our forces with the tools and resources they need. We're buying 88 advanced fighter jets. We're fully funding the Royal Canadian Navy's full complement of Canadian surface combatant ships. We're also recapitalizing much of the Canadian Army's land combat capabilities. Le rôle qu'assume le Canada à titre de dirigeant du groupement tactique en Lettonie témoigne de son engagement envers l'alliance de l'OTAN ainsi qu'envers la Bosnie, le Kosovo, l'Afghanistan et la Libye. Les Canadiens sont fiers d'être à l'avant-plan des efforts déployés pour défendre les valeurs démocratiques partagées et l'ordre international fondé sur les règles. Prime Minister Kuczynskis and I also talked today about our commitment to protecting democracy, rule of law and freedom of speech. We can't ignore the reality that in many places these values are threatened. Our extended commitment to the NATO mission in Latvia sends the clear message that Canada will always do its part. Le Premier ministre et moi avons aussi parlé de commerce. Le Canada et la Lettonie sont de solides partenaires sur le plan économique. 
En effet, l'accord économique et commercial global et l'accord de partenariat stratégique entre le Canada et l'Union européenne confirment nos objectifs communs. Le commerce progressiste crée de nouvelles opportunités pour les gens et les entreprises dans nos deux pays. C'est une stratégie qui assurera la création d'emplois et renforcera nos économies pour le bien des Lettons et des Canadiens. Je suis fier qu'Air Baltique a choisi d'acheter 80 avions auprès de Bombardier, une entreprise canadienne. C'est un investissement important et un exemple de la solide relation commerciale que nous entretenons. And it's not just shared values and trade that bind Canadians and Latvians together, but people, too. It's individuals who build and defend our countries, just like the soldiers honored at the Freedom Memorial I visited earlier today. It's the hard work and dreams of our fellow citizens that help us thrive. The 28,000 strong Latvian Canadian community enriches Canada's national fabric. They're celebrating with pride during Latvia's 100th birthday this year, and I'm confident that the next 100 years will continue the close relationship between our two countries. It's a relationship built on friendship, cooperation, and shared economic prosperity. 